basically a uniform that I wear every day. Hi everybody. Are you ready? I know I've been not on here because um you know I'll be tired and um I try to keep you guys as updated as possible on what's going on and it's just um yeah I just feel like I'm going to just want to talk about the lupus and all of that for a long time um you know I always just didn't take care of myself and just blame my pains and shit on um, you know the fact that oh my bones hurt my hands hurt my feet hurt my back hurt because I do hair you know I went to Marinello's and Inglewood shout out to Inglewood you already know um but you know and then on top of that you know, I'm a mother, and I have two active children, um, eight and five, and um, I just do everything for them, and today, I'm just chilling, because it's like, uh, I haven't been feeling well. I don't know, well, I know exactly what it is. It's the sun, and then on top of that, um... <laughs> On the warning labels of half the damn medication, it tells you, you know, make sure you don't go out in the sun with this medication. Make sure you eat with this medication. Make sure you, you know, you do two sets of push-ups with this medication and blage, blage. And the whole thing about it is, fuck, my body just now getting, trying to get used to this shit. On top of me still having to be the mother and the provider, the protector, and the coach, the teacher, and everything else that I have to be. And it just gets fucking tired, and I'm not going to lie to y'all, I'm tired. And uh, I've been out of breath a lot, and I just hate that. Like when I talk, like it'd be like sharp pains and shit. I ain't lying to y'all. I just be like, and now, sometimes, like, you know, I'm pretty sure y'all heard people say, like, I don't want to go to the doctor, shit, when I go to the hospital, I'm going to get sick, or people don't be wanting to go to the hospital, they think they're going to die in the hospital, you know what I'm saying, like, I was straight, I mean, I'm straight, don't get this shit twisted, you feel me, I'm straight, I'm straight, it's just that, man, it's just, it's weird now, it's different, and it's just that, man, it's really, it's, I don't want to say it's taking a hold of me, but you just got to understand that, you know, when you, when, this is all new to me, so it's just like I'm jumping into a new lane with a whole bunch of, like, medications and doctors and specialists and uh, all type of reactions and it's just like side effects and it's just like, it's just too much. And the worst thing that you can do to somebody is ask somebody, oh, what's what's that shit on your face? <laughs> like, y'all gotta understand, like, that shit, how you think that person feel? Like, what the fuck you... Not what the you mean, but, you know, like, what do you mean? Like, what's that on my face? Like, imagine what my heart look like and my liver look like. And my kidneys look like and you know my my bones you know the joints in my bones imagine how the cartilage and shit is, you know be inflamed and imagine that it's just deeper than my face you know what I'm saying and it's just like sometimes people can't get over that and I'm not gonna lie to you I can't get over that cause it's it's crazy man God giveth and God take it away take it the way right uh, I know I used to be really vain in my younger years like I'm talking about middle school high school nobody could tell me nothing um then I had kids and I was still everything but what really hit me was this on my face it made me feel really bad you know what I'm saying it's just like all eyes on these whatever you know this situation but you know with the medication and stuff it's like clearing you know what I'm saying? It doesn't bother me as much, but besides of like the scars, how it looked like it's just gonna stay there forever. I know I don't wanna wear a fucking bunch of makeup. 
Um, but I will, because, you know, I will wear some shit, because I don't want to have to, I don't have to explain myself, right? I don't have to, but I'm a very outspoken person anyway, and, like, I'm an open book, so it's just like, people got to understand, too, you know, you better watch your mouth and watch who you're talking to, because somebody will take you up on your offer and your bet. Like, you know, I don't have to tell nobody nothing, like, oh, you know, it's on your face, or I don't have to say nothing, but you really didn't have to say nothing either, because you did, now I'm going to really let you know, oh, yeah, this is, um, this is lupus, you know, and um, it's a immune deficiency disease where, you know, my blood cells, you know, they're attacking each other and, you know, um, they're not strong enough to fight, you know, any type of things right now because, um, you know, I, it, 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 that's just how it's set up. I'm, I, I don't know, this, I just... You know, I, I to break it down to somebody and to see their reaction, it's just like, they be like, damn, maybe, you know, I should have shut the hell up. You know what I'm saying? And it's just that, no, you didn't have to shut up because now you learned something. You know what I'm saying? You learned that sometimes you're not going to always be ready for the, the truth. You know, why ask if you don't really want to know? You you wish it was a pimple, or you wish I got burnt or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But it's really something serious, and it's something that I can't not think about. You know, it's not a day that goes by that I don't think about it, especially because it's multiple symptoms, symptoms, and it's like okay, if my hands lock up, my fingers lock up. You feel me? If my hip go out. Or like I said, I'll have sharp pains, like like sharp pains. Like I don't know, I never been stabbed, but like sharp pains, like I, like short for breath. I didn't felt like I didn't had many strokes. Like I promise you, my whole this this was just like right before. This is a matter of fact, if it wasn't on Lacey's birthday, it was like the day before. And I promise you, I was just I can't. I be letting my feelings, my emotions. Get the best of me. I'll be overwhelmed with life sometimes, knowing that I am the captain of the ship, and you know the ship cannot sail without me because you know I am the one. I am the boss. I'm the. I have this. I have all this responsibility. And sometimes, like I said, it just gets overwhelming. And that day, I was just probably overwhelmed. And I remember I was going to go pick up the cake, and I was just like, short for breath. My whole. Um, it had to be my right arm, you know, because. I had to drive with my left arm really uncomfortable on the freeway and and it wasn't like a numb feeling it was just like a hurt feeling like like a strain like if I strained my arm or something and um to FYI um I figured I should just start documenting to how I feel because you know life is not promised tomorrow and I can always come back to these videos, or y'all can come back to these videos and probably, you know, want to see a young player, or, you know, just whatever y'all want to do. I want to do this, so that's why I'm doing it, I don't want to talk, but I'll be alright, and I'm just having one of them days, and it's not no other nothing, I ain't blaming it on nothing, I know what it is now, I'm not going to put keep on putting it behind me, because that's the reason it was getting out of control, because I didn't think, you never think anything can happen to you, but, um, I'll be alright. I'll be alright today. It's Sunday, so my prayers talk to my grandma. I have a doctor's appointment, mandatory blood test, monthly, medications, fatigue. I swear to the heat be really killing me. Like, I'll be feeling like a fish out of water when I'll be hot as hell. But, um,. I love everybody. I ain't got no problems with nobody. I just wish people would acknowledge that they self and just be nice. Just be nice. You never know who you're talking to. You know what I'm saying? And everybody's not built the same. And, you sh and, and what does that mean? It doesn't mean that you you're better than anybody. We're all, you know, we are the same, but we all like 
been through different things. So if you nobody is going to turn away niceness, just put it that way. A motherfucker won't talk to you if you got a snotty attitude, if you're vain, if you conceited, if you selfish, if you whatever you evil, you weird, whatever. But if you loving and you just like you got love and you just sweet, nobody's gonna turn that away. And everybody's going through somebody. And every everybody, you know, our dogs are at their best. Like a little free. love sometimes, you know? It's a nice Pretty gesture, because you know, a smile. Like that, nothing can hold uh, back. How you been? How you doing? Make all the um, just might be a diet whatever it may be, a joke or whatever. Food. Why did a chicken cross the road type shit? You know, people appreciate small things now. But, you know, reach for the stars and be the best you can be. And I'm going to get off this couch and live my life and all of that, but... I just had to stretch out because I was not feeling good. No, I wasn't feeling good. Well, um, until next time, y'all. Y'all love each other and be nice and make somebody smile today. Bye.